Okay, how to add a background image in Corona so you can start making applications. It's really simple. I'll go really fast so it won't take long this video and I hope you can understand this really easy. The first thing you have to have is Corona. So you have this one and you need to install it. You have this icon in your desktop and you have to have an editor. I have Text Wrangler. I use those two to do my applications and my projects. So if you don't know how to do that, you can go to the websites and to, you can download those programs there. Once you have that, what I do is the first thing you have to be organized. I create a folder in my desktop, test color my world. I have the main program right here, color my world, but I have another folder where I have the image that I'm going to use right here. So once you have the image there, then you can add it to your program. So in this folder, you're going to have everything. That's the folder you create for your main project. So once you do that, you go to Text Wrangler and open it. And then in Text Wrangler, you're going to save the file. It's empty. You save that file as file, save as, and you have to save it as main.lua. The first thing Corona is looking to run an app, it's this file, main.lua. So save it, and I'm saving it on desktop, save. So notice that when I save, I'm just gonna close this real quick, that's it, so. I save that file. I have the file right here on my desktop, it's right there, and notice one thing, is like white, that Lua, there's no color. Once you drag it inside the folder, as soon as you put it in there, it will be like a little green, and that means that is detecting that is a Corona file, a Lua in a Lua language. So once you have that, I'm just have the main that Lua file and the background JPEG. So I'm just opening this one from here, open it. So now I have it there. So now this is where I write the code. Here, here I can write. Okay. And these two dashes are just common. So this is not part of the code, okay? So now the code is going to be there. Now, once you have the page in a text wrangler or any other edit editor that you have, you can do it in any other one that you may have, uh, you need to write one line of code right here, all right? And before we do that, I'm just going to open the simulator. So back into Corona, I'm here, I'm just gonna go to File, Open, and I need to open the actual main.lua. And I have it right here on desktop, right here, and right there, you go to Test Color My World, right there, Test Color My World, that's a folder, and that Lua. Open, and I have the simulator right here. So everything will see it here. So I'm just gonna hide this one so it would not be in our way. And there we go. So this is how you add a background image to Corona. Ready? You put local, that's the code. And you put a name here. It goes the name of your file, the name of your image, the name of your variable. This is a variable, so in this case, uh, because it's a background, I'm just going to put background. You can put anything you want. You can put background for background 56. You can put any numbers there. You just cannot start like this. Five background. Don't start with a number. That's uh, one of the things that you cannot do. Start with a word and then I'm just put background. So that will be equal to what? equal to is going to display display that new image it's going to display a new image it's very simple to remember that's why i like this corona language and lua is really really easy to use and remember so local you create a variable with a name and that variable is equal to what well equal to the new image that you're going to display so now Corona is asking you, well, I'm going to display a new image. What image? So in here, you just write the image. You write it inside the parentheses, and I always put the open and close it right away. So I don't forget to do the closing later. Then I go inside, 
and then open and closing quotes, little quotes, and then inside I write the name here. Here is the name of your file. There you go. So right there, you're just going to write the name of your file. So the name of our file, remember that it was background.jpg, right? So this is the name. So I'm just going to copy that one. Control copy or command copy. I'm used to the PC control. So once I copy that, I'm just going to put it right here. And that's the name. Sometimes it's good to copy things because that way you don't misspell things. Jackpack. That's it. So once you have that, look at the simulator right here. There's nothing. So look at this right here. It's dark. Once you save this file, as soon as you save it, boop, the image will show right here. Watch. Command S to save. And that's the image is right there. So any changes that you do instantly goes here. So that's it. That's how you add uh, background image to Corona.